now that it's time to commission our cabinet, we would bring our charms of the correct signal type and we would insert those charms into each charm holder, locking them into place. These charms then give each individual pair of wires the correct functionality for the signal type. So if these were discrete inputs, these could be a discrete input dry contact charm. If they were power discrete devices, they could be an isolated or 24 or 120 volt charm, depending on the signal level out in the field. Charms can be used as a circuit disconnect so that by not inserting the charm all the way, and leaving our tab lock, it allows us to leave certain I.O. channels disconnected. Um, further work is being done into the field on certain circuits. So in this case, because we've moved an entire Provox term panel, we have 16 charms that we'll have put into place and that then completes the installation.